Hi, this is Steve Moore. I'm a product engineer on the Maps for Creative Cloud team here at Esri. And today I'm going to talk about some of the new features that are available in the 1.3 release of Maps for Creative Cloud. So to start with, we have a new way of creating Mapboard extents. So previously we've supported manually drawing the extent or importing from an existing web map. And we've expanded this import capability to now include files from disk as well as layers from ArcGIS Online. So if I select Create from Layer, and I'll search for some data over Canada. I'll go ahead and select this layer. And I want to point out one other thing here. We have this new Add to Favorites button. I'm going to go ahead and click that. We'll come back to that in just a minute. So I'll click Add. And you can see that my map extent is automatically created for me. And that's based on the extent of that layer that I just selected. And if I move over to the compilation window, you can see that all the content from that layer was brought in as well. So one cool thing, I have a handful of layers here that I don't really want to include in my map. So I can now do a shift and a command or control click to select multiple items at once and then do a delete selection. So I don't have to go through each one individually and delete it. So to go back to the add to favorites button that I pointed out, if I open up the add layers dialog and I click the drop down of all the different content categories, you can see I have a new one here, my favorites. And this is actually the same thing as the My Favorites content category in ArcGIS Online. So anything that's associated with My Favorites with my ArcGIS Online account will show up here. So here's the item that I just added through the extension. And then here are a couple other items that are already in there. So it's just a nice way of organizing content that you use on a regular basis. Another cool thing that we've added here in the compilation window is the ability to customize the coordinate system. So in addition to being able to select from any of the standard supported coordinate systems, I can now take it a step further and click customize and actually modify all these detailed parameters of the coordinate system. One other kind of cool usability thing we've added are these undo and redo buttons up at the top. So if I come in and maybe change the attribute field that I'm symbolizing this layer off of, I'll come back and take a look at it. For whatever reason, I don't like it. I don't have to go back in and change it. I can just click undo. And then, of course, I can hit redo and go back to it. So the last thing I want to show on the compilation window here is this message that I get when I click download. So it's telling me that my compiled map and my artwork will be saved with the Illustrator document. So this is probably the single biggest feature we've added at the 1.3 release. And basically what that message means is that in addition to just the artwork, we're now saving the state of the web map from the compilation window inside the Illustrator document. So this is really big because it lets me save and persist the state of the extension inside the Illustrator document. And what that kind of means then is I can pick up where I left off or I could share the Illustrator document with a colleague and they can kind of take it from there. So to show you what I'm talking about, we'll go to the downloaded file and just like always, I've got my editable artwork here. So I'm actually going to close this Illustrator file I'll save it. And if I look at the compilation window now, I have nothing there. So my extent's been removed, all the content's gone. But if I go back and reopen that AI file I just created, it loads all that web map information back into the extension. So again, I can just pick up right where I left off, share this with a colleague. They can customize it however they want. So it's really a very powerful feature that we've added. And the last thing I want to show is we have another option here for sharing, uh, share to ArcGIS Online. So if I click that, I can actually save the state of the compilation window as a web map in ArcGIS Online. And then I can share that item with other members of my organization or other users across ArcGIS Online. So you can download the 1.3 version of our extension the same way as the previous versions through the Adobe Exchange website. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.